Health Watch, are we listening to the doctors? Sort of is the answer. A survey conducted by researchers at the University of Southern California finds the coronavirus is changing the behavior of Americans. Dr. Malika Marshall is here. But doctor, it's important to note this study was conducted about a week ago. That's right. So these were researchers at USC who polled nearly 2,500 U.S. residents from March 10th to March 12th. That's about the time when the WHO declared a pandemic and when celebrities began sharing that they were infected. Now, since then, more stringent measures have been put into place in many regions across the country. But as of one week ago, 85% say they had been watching washing their hands or using hand sanitizers more frequently. 61% said they had engaged in various forms of social distancing, most commonly avoiding contact with high-risk individuals. And 25% said they were avoiding restaurants in general, Paula. So it all seems like encouraging news, and most people are taking some type of action, but we do know there were some trends and warning signs that were of a concern to you? That's right, because not everyone seemed to be stepping up their hand washing, and only about half of respondents were engaging in social distancing. But you know, the world has changed a lot in the past week, so we can only hope that those percentages have improved in recent days, because as health officials have explained, the U.S. is at a tipping point when we either follow the path of some countries that have been devastated by this virus, or we successfully flatten that curve so that we can manage the crisis until it wanes. And let this be a reminder to the young adults out there who may feel invincible. You are not. And we need you to help protect those who are most vulnerable. Please. And you know, Malika, in case people didn't have time to watch it this afternoon, that was a very important point that Dr. Burks made at the White House today, that some of the uh, numbers they're seeing from Italy and France are that more and more young people, millennials, are sicker than we first thought. That's right. And, and not just millennials with underlying medical problems. Right. I mean, there people. are healthy 20-something, 30-something, 40-something year olds that are actually on ventilators and in the ICU. So please, we all need to do our part. Right. And it's everybody else that people in Italy who call now having a heart attack are on the phone waiting for an hour because there is no one who can help them at the hospital. That's right. And imagine if you got into a car accident or you fell and you hit your head, would there be medical providers to actually help you? We need to think about all of this. Dr. Malika Marshall, again, thank you so much for all your expertise. We thank really you, appreciate, it. appreciate it. Thank you.